All right, guys, so picking up in the next video in this series here, I'm going to be talking about the construction materials for the exterior of the house. So I'm here looking at the, the wall panel next to the garage over here on the side of the house by the garage. And so up in the middle here, you can see that these things, this is not wood, even though it's kind of textured to look like wood, it's vinyl plank. So I don't know if you can hear that noise there. Um, it's not quite hollow, but uh, not quite the same density as, you know, higher density wood either. And the big benefit of vinyl plank is that you don't have uh, nearly as much materials degradation as you do with wood. And so it's not as liable to rot or have uh, weakening of materials uh, due to uh, degradation over time. And then down towards the bottom here, uh, this is the brick exterior of the house. And so this is normal brick. You can see that they have uh, the connection uh, between the bricks here. And uh, these cracks down here, actually, these like are weeping holes for to let water escape. And also uh, due to temperature changes, sometimes things uh, uh, expand and collapse. And so uh, that can relieve some of the tension in the superstructure of the house. And so these two materials here represent the main um, the main construction materials for the exterior of the house. Um, and I'm gonna back up here and talk about the roof for a second as well. And so the roof has uh, asphalt shingles. Actually, I was surprised it's rated for 30 years, which I don't know too much about roofs, but it seemed like a very long time to me. Um, but you know, looks like normal uh, pattern shingles. You can see on the roof ridges, they have the special uh, shingles constructed there. Um, and of course it slopes, should keep water off the house. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about uh, building material wise is the foundation of the house. And so some houses have crawl spaces underneath the house. Uh, the house is kind of raised off the ground and there's this uh, structure underneath the house. Uh, maybe there's some insulation there or it's just wood or whatever. Um, now there's kind of a couple disadvantages to that. Um, so because the crawl, space, crawl spaces leads to airspace underneath the house, uh, you kind of tend to have higher utility bears, higher utility bills associated with heating and air. Um, and so having the uh, house lay directly on the ground on a foundation, so in this case I have a concrete slab, that's the foundation for this house, can kind of insulate a little better, keep those utility bills down more, and it also prevents things like mold and mildew and rats and insects. So when you have that crawl space, uh, there is space under the house then for rodents to nest or insects to inhabit, and you might tend to have more issues with those things here. Um, so there's a couple benefits here to the slab. Um, it's also pretty economical. Um, they just lay a big block of concrete, basically. Uh, now, the one thing that slabs do require is they require gradient, uh, grading of the property. And so the builder, when they went and built this, had to grade the entire plot of land here to be able to put in a slab. But given that they did that, we have these advantages here. Other things, this isn't materials-wise so much as environment. There is a termite treatment on the house. So again, down here in Georgia, where it's pretty warm, we do have uh, termites all around. This was, as you can see over here, uh, this was previously uh, woodland. Um, so definitely going to need that pest treatment. Uh, they treat the ground for termites, actually. I'll probably need to get it reapplied every year or so, uh, annually or semi-annually uh, for bugs. Um, and interestingly, the builder actually said that new houses have more of a problem with bugs than old houses. Uh, evidently, just because you kind of more disturb the environment uh, you know, that once a house has been up for a while, I guess, I don't know, there's not as many bugs in the vicinity, but uh, they did recommend that I have the house treated every once in a while. So there you go. Those are the main construction materials of the house. Um, actually, I think the shutters, I mean, I'm gonna go double check, but almost 100% sure that, yeah, the shutters are vinyl plank as well. Um, I painted a different color here, but uh, vinyl plank on the sides, vinyl plank shutters, uh, the brick exterior with the weeping holes. I'm um, actually underneath the bricks as well. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'll be able to get any shots of it. When uh, the house was still more under construction, you had these like these little uh, streamers coming out. Uh, and that was from the wrap that is underneath the brick exterior. So it, it's just another seal uh, underneath the brick lattice that kind of uh, traps or pr provides a, a, a barrier between the exterior and interior of the house inside that brick layout. And uh, for a while they had these little tails coming out and you could kind of see where that wrap was and uh, where it was coming out through the bricks. But they've all cleaned those up uh, given that the house has been uh, closed on now and uh, it's more complete. Um, but that was there for a while. So underneath the entire brick lattice, there is a wrap. Um, I, I couldn't really tell you what the material is. I mean, plastic, maybe not quite the right word, but uh, 
some sort of waterproof barrier. Um, also, we'll keep bugs out. And that's the other thing. I mean, you can see in the house um, that the brick is only on the uh, sort of the foundation on some of the house and more planking on the sides. Now, I did do some research as to which material is kind of has better durability and longevity over time. And honestly, between those two, I mean, it's not a huge difference. You know, there's some brick houses that have been up for hundreds of years even. So brick is obviously fine, you know, with the concrete mortar between the bricks. Final plank, probably not quite so much, but you know, we're still talking in decades here, you know, a lot better than wood siding or certain other less durable materials. And so I like how the house turned out. I think the building materials complement each other well. You know, there's not super high contrast. I think everything turned out pretty well. So I'm happy. Uh, with the materials on the exterior. I mean, I didn't get to customize too much of this, but I'm happy with the default. So those were the materials on the outside of the house. And eventually I'll do another similar video for some of the materials on the inside of the house as well.